name is Daniel Mulatto. I'm 21 years young. I'm a f video game wise, I'm like a filthy fucking casual. I love Apex Legends. I love fucking player unknowns, battlegrounds, even though it's hard as shit. Um, also, I love like story driven games like Last of Us. My earliest video game memory is probably. Man, that's a hard question. So I remember like growing up and I had like a Game Boy DS and I remember playing like those stupid like they were like super like cheap like games like it'd be like one of the racing games but my like first like game system was actually a Wii and I was like probably like 14, 15 and I remember playing like Call of Duty like zombies on that thing and I love that like Black Ops 2 I like love that thing. My best video game memory I have with my family is oh hands down like Mario Kart because I even bought like four extra controllers so my mom and like my like sister could play and yeah it's probably like hands down my favorite my favorite childhood game was probably that's a tough one I had like all of them were like my favorites I could just play one for like hours and hours um I really, I really don't know I really don't know I'm gonna say probably like I have no idea <laughs> I have no idea I really don't know best character ever designed in a video game I think Mario because you can honestly just like see his like even as like a little shade of his like mustache and you'll be like yeah that's Mario like that guy like just brings back like happy memories of just him like running around and getting like absolutely murdered by random turtles and stuff. Mama! Game over. The video game character I identify most as. Man, you should give. I have no idea. That's like a really like deep question. I have no idea. I guess like Nathan Drake, cause he's like fun and like funny, and it's like something I really want to be in. Like really like smooth and like suave. Cause I'm not like a Joel. I'm not like a fucking like Kratos, you know, I'm just like fucking suicidal and like want to murder everything. Ah! Video games and what they mean to me. Everything. Just like when I'm having a bad day, I want to play video games. When I'm having a great day, I want to play video games. Like, they mean a lot to me. Just, it's something that I can like easily like connect with friends and just like have fun. With a guy like I've never seen in like four years, I'll like still play with him and we'll, we'll play like if we haven't like seen each other in like three years and just like if I saw him like yesterday it's just like an easy way to like connect video game that I recommend everyone plays like story driven I want to like recommend Last of Us I know like Last of Us is just my game you know but a game that everyone should play like from like mom to like child is anything Mario anything like Mario Kart just anything like that I recommend the best years for consoles and games were probably like PlayStation 2 because that set the groundwork for like everything. Because like video games right now, they're like on like Uncharted 4 or like like Last of Us like 2. Like that's what like set the groundwork for everything. That's what like actually like like made games like the sequels and like developers. That's what like carried them forward. Is like that's what like gave them their like groundwork. So hands down like PlayStation or like Xbox 360. Yeah. Do people play video games now because it has gone into mainstream? I mean, I, I personally believe it's always been mainstream. Like, there hasn't been a time where it hasn't been. Maybe like your mom didn't know what the console name was, but like, like now she knows. Like, oh yeah, like, yeah, everyone plays it. If there was one bad thing about video games, just like, a video game doesn't need to be like a grind fest. I just hate those video games that just like take up like 50 hours of your time like if it's a story it's like something like completely different but if it's just like a like just grinding for like a random like gun i think that's like totally not worth it and that's what like people hate is just like when it like consumes your life that's what gives video games such like a bad rap the best experience i've had playing video games so recently i just turned like 21 and just playing video games drunk with my girlfriend <laughs> just like just absolutely getting like wasted and trying to like figure out where to go and just be like all right I'm doing great but then like you just remember like lose 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 like that's all you see one of the worst experiences about playing video games I've never had like such a worst experience I've, it's always been like down like I lost it and I put the controller down and I like live my life I've never been like angry or like like you know I, I, don't, I don't think I have one it's mostly been positive I go to them I go to video games to like for something good the top three video game characters well obviously anything like Mario just like you just see Mario's face you're like oh yeah that's Mario and you see Luigi oh yeah that's Mario's brother so like <laughs> Mario like hands down or I meant like no that's green Mario <laughs> my personal favorite for like PlayStation is like Crash Bandicoot and then uh, for Xbox I'm not I don't have it I never had an Xbox so Master Chief I think like when I see him like I instantly know who he is like a total like badass character yeah I think those are top three I think the best way to share a video game experience is like most games don't have that like co-op 
just literally hand the person the controller and teach them how to play. That's the best way is to get that person into it. Cause then they'll be like, oh shit, I want to buy a fucking Xbox. Oh, I want to buy a PlayStation. It's like, oh, what game is that? It's just like literally hand the controller and be like, have at it. The best video game series of all time. Probably God of War, hands down. Like that game evolved from such like, uh, like such a, it was a totally different game when the first came out. It was just like button mashy and now it has like a story and it's just like, you care about that guy, you like you can see like your dad and like Kratos. Like you can see like yourself as like the little kid, like like I think that one. It evolved just so well. I think video games have given people like a sense of like pride and like being able to be good at something that they've like never been good at, just like a sense of like accomplishing stuff and just a way to like communicate with other people. Like you could be like the loneliest person ever, but you turn on that like Xbox, you turn on that PlayStation, and then you're instantly like with friends. And it doesn't have to be like real people, it can be like the, just the main character in the in the video game that you're playing. It's just like such a easy way to like connect, and such like a positive way to connect, you know? Do I think we should promote video games and we already do? I think video games are like perfect where they're at. It has their strong, community everyone knows what video games are and it doesn't range from like six-year-olds to like I mean it ranges from like six-year-olds to like 80 year olds there's like 80 year old grandma streaming on like twitch like I think that's like beautiful you know I think it should be more mainstream but I th I think it's fine where it's at I'm mean, of course it will grow more but I think it's fine who do I think the worst video game character is that's a hard one because if I think a video game is bad I'll just I won't play it like and I'll be like, oh, this character is absolutely like ass. I, re I don't know, I don't have one. What was the biggest video game revolution? Positively, I think being able to like, like the internet and just how being able to connect with other people. I know I bring that up a lot, but I just love just going on and just connecting with people. But I think the worst is <laughs> paying for that. Because <laughs> you used to be able to buy like a video game and you would have the whole thing, but now it's just like, Marco transactions. It's just like it's like a huge like paywall at everything, and you can't even like play with certain people if you don't have like like the game. So they kind of like it was like a good invention and a bad invention because you want to play with other people, but it's just like you can't because you're not on the same level. You used to be able you just you were able to play. You know, it didn't matter what level, what skill, you could just play with them. What is my favorite console? Even though I own an Xbox One, I'm gonna say a PlayStation. PlayStation has been with me since like the PS2, PS3, PS4, I think, and I'm really excited to see the next gen. I think it's gonna be like absolutely beautiful. I remember playing like Crash Bandicoot, like like Nathan, Drake, like Uncharted series, Last of Us, just God of War, just everything about that console. Like they have like such like great, even though they're like stingy about like cross platform, they're they have such great like single player like games. I guess yeah, Sony. Yeah, PlayStation. Hands out. Bless you. That's it. <laughs> that was it. Okay, you're good.